What is happening everybody? We are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We're here for a one day whirlwind adventure in the Cream City. So let's do stuff. I'm Tara, that's Lucas. We're on a quest for new adventures and great food. Come along with us as we explore our incredible world. On the coast of Lake Michigan, this vibrant global city has European roots. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is perhaps best known for beer and baseball, but it's also rich in culture, art, and history. Let's get things started with some coffee. We are here at Full of Beans Cafe, and if you don't know what that means, it usually means something like sassy or spunky, and that's the vibe they're going for here. We got a sugar daddy today, which is a caramel latte with cinnamon on top. Sounds delightful. I also got a breakfast sandwich, they've got sandwiches and paninis here too. Nice caramel flavor, a little bit of kick from the cinnamon. It's really, really good. Welcome to our simple and affordable studio in downtown Milwaukee. It's an Airbnb as usual, and the building was built in 1875. Apparently it was revamped in 2020, so it's got some cool modern touches as well. We've got a queen size bed, a couple of chairs, television, a little kitchenette, and a little dining area. The bathroom is really cool. It's a wet room, so the shower is in the middle of everything. And it was interesting to get to use that kind of thing for the first time. It's got some cool historic details, and it was just perfect for what we needed. We'll link this Airbnb down below if you'd like to rent it. There are several units in the building, and it's really close to Brady Street, which is a lively restaurant and bar area. foot by 15 wooden shed, two 20 year old sons of Milwaukee motorized a bicycle and made history. They sold their first motorcycle in 1903. By 1913, they had a three floor brick facility and had sold 13,000 bikes for recreation and racing. brought changes to design and improvements in technology. Harley-Davidson was one of two motorcycle companies to make it through the depression. Their success worldwide is undeniable. The Harley-Davidson Museum offers a glimpse into a slice of American history and culture through the successes and trials of one of the country's most iconic companies. Admission is $22. I didn't have the chance to get to know either of my biological parents as well as I would have liked to, but there was one thing they were both passionate about, and that was motorcycles. Visiting this museum helped me understand that part of them a bit better, and it awoke something inside me that had been dormant. I'm definitely interested in getting a bike and learning to ride sometime soon. Who knows? Lucas and Tara ride Harley across country? What do you think? Put in the comments. Would you watch us make that journey? In 
Inspired by his childhood home in Germany, this house was built with beer money. Frederick Pabst of Pabst Blue Ribbon fame built this Flemish revival finished in 1892 for his family. With intricate woodwork, a Baroque-style conservatory, and Rococo details, this home is an explosion of classic European style and a true example of Gilded Age design. Pabst family lived here until 1908, and it was eventually sold to a historic preservation group for restoration. It's still a work in progress today, but it's an amazing example of a decadent time in American history. The Pabst Mansion remains one of the largest and most expensive homes ever constructed in Milwaukee. We're outside of American Family Field in Milwaukee, Wisconsin to see the Brewers take on the Washington Nationals. Let's go check it out. Located roughly two miles west of downtown Milwaukee, American Family Field has been the home of the Brewers since it opened in 2001. This fan-shaped retractable roof is the only one of its kind in North America. And large panes of glass allow for natural grass to grow. The stadium's most unique feature is the two-story slide above the left field bleachers. Following each Brewer's home run or victory, the team's mascot Bernie slides down onto a platform shaped like home plate. We went to Story Hill Topped Dogs, and we got the Wisconsin on my mind dog, which has cheddar cheese, ranch dressing, and fried cheese curds on top of the hot dog. It doesn't get more Wisconsin than that. Oh my gosh. I'm wearing half the ranch dressing, but that is so good. Beefy hot dog, bun, super creamy, super rich, really delicious. Unfortunately, that comeback never materialized, and we got a final 8-2 to two, Washington over the home Milwaukee Brewers, and we're starting to feel like bad luck for home teams. That's four games in a row that we've gone to where the home team has lost, and several times by quite a few. Uh, but it was a fun day. I really like this stadium. It's beautiful. The fans were very friendly, 
and polite. And uh, yeah, it was a great time in the ballpark. Let's go check out the rest of Milwaukee. Opened in 2005 in the historic Third Ward, in a chic industrial space, we're at the Milwaukee Public Market for dinner. Inspired by the Pike Place Market in Seattle and focused on local independent businesses, the market offers prepared food as well as produce, specialty groceries, and of course, cheese. things we got is the Asian sesame salad from the Green Kitchen. It's a mixed green salad with looks like some beet greens, all sorts of different types of lettuce. Very colorful. And on top is green onions, tofu, edamame, peanuts, mandarin oranges, and several other things. And it's got a sesame dressing. Let's give this a try. We've been eating a lot of cheese on this trip. So we needed some vegetables. It's a really nice salad. That dressing's got a nice little tang to it. Crunchiness from the peanuts and the carrots. We also got tofu in there for some protein. A little acidity from the mandarin oranges. Can't ask for a much better salad. The second item that we got is from On The Bus and I was excited to see a little vegan spot in here. It was so busy that they had to shut down early, so thumbs up on that. We got the Smokehouse Burger. It's a Beyond Patty with the tempeh bacon and jalapenos, barbecue sauce, crispy onions, and slaw. It looks really good. We had to wait like 30 minutes for it because <laughs> they were so busy. The bacon's nice and smoky. The barbecue's really good. The slaw gives it a little bit of a little bit of crunch in there. It's really good. After dinner, we're going for a relaxing stroll along the Milwaukee River. The Milwaukee River Walk District is 20 blocks unified by permanent and changing art exhibitions that create a unique urban outdoor art gallery. For being in the middle of such a large city, we found the river walk to be surprisingly quiet and peaceful. Her heroic efforts to hatch six ducklings became an inspiration for many war-weary Americans at the end of World War II. Gertie the Duck's story unfolded as a daily serial in the local newspaper for 37 days, captivating Milwaukee and eventually the country. This series of statues was installed in 1997 to commemorate Gertie's impact on the city. show Happy Days, be sure to swing by and take a picture with the Bronze Fawns. For our last stop in Milwaukee, we're here for something sweet at Purple Door Ice Cream. I got a split scoop today and one of them is cream cheese, which I thought was unique, and the other one is Door County Cherry Chocolate Chunk. Door County is here in Wisconsin, and this is about the time of year for cherries to come out, so I thought it was an appropriate choice. There were a lot of people here on a Sunday night, and almost everyone was ordering this Door County cherry. So, let's check it out. It's got chunks of chocolate, pieces of cherry, and a cherry ice cream base. And it's that dark, sweet cherry, big chunks of dark chocolate. That is just rich, decadent, delicious, a little bit tangy from that cherry flavor. Perfect way to finish off this day.
Well, it's been less than 24 hours here in Milwaukee, and I think I speak for both of us in saying that we're pleasantly surprised. It's true. This is a really friendly city, and we've made some new friends and had some really great conversations. Mm -hmm. I just wish we had some more time to check out all the recommendations from the locals, but we'll be back. Thank you so much for coming along on this adventure to Milwaukee. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit the thumbs up down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a moment to do that as well. It's the best way you can support our channel. And we'll see you in the next one.